Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I have quite a funny little story to tell you. This is the third time that I am attempting to record my own voice on this ridiculous video. <laughs> the first time, of course, was whenever I was playing, and, you know, that didn't happen because, you know, I had unplugged and replugged in my headset, and that causes the computer to forget that it existed, and everything reverts to trying to record through my speakers. So, beyond that, the second time that I did this, I you know, I had made sure that recording session, you know, the device was all set up properly and everything, and... Oh, look, iron. And I'm like, okay, everything's going, everything's plugged in right, everything's set up right, let's just go ahead and do my recordings. Only to discover, after doing an hour's worth of recording, that I had turned off the microphone with the little mute button whenever I was leaning up against the desk. So, third time's a charm, right? In any event, we're going to continue mining until we find diamonds. Because at this point, I need... Let's see, let's try to go in this way. I need one more diamond for an enchanting table. So we're really just hunting a diamond. If we can just find one, that's good enough. Although I guess losing our pick is definitely going to put a damper on that. All right. Let's see. I don't think I have any wood upstairs. So that's dark over there. So I have a feeling I'm going to need to go and get some wood. It is daytime on the minimap, so... There you go. Yeah, I might need to do something with these ladders eventually. Well, for now it works. You know, once I get into position, I'm fine. But yeah, this is. There's only so many times that you know you can do this and go. Really? I did it again. I did it again. Oh well. If nothing else, I'm hoping that you get a little bit of a funny story out of it. Let's see. Let's go up. Checking. Yep, no wood. Let's go. Chickens. That stuff. Yep. Cannot use I cannot use sugar cane to make a pick. So we're not even gonna try. Chickens and sheep and Still can't collect that. Um, and I can't break this with my bare hands because we are playing in adventure mode. For those of us who have no idea what that means, that means unless you have the appropriate tool, you cannot break the block. And apparently, some people really hate people who play in this mode. But you know, this is actually kind of challenging because if something happens, and for example, and I die, if I don't have a spawn set, you know, with a bed. I'm pretty well boned until I can get some tools. In mean, the first three days of this Adventure Time series, if you haven't watched it from the beginning, I did indeed have to, you know, live by wits instead of, you know, being able to have a nice safe place to stay all night long. And also, I've kind of decided that, um, this is kind of a pretty tree. I don't want to... I don't want to cut it all down, but I also want to have these leaves dry, d fall away, so let's chop those off. Maybe that'll cause... I don't know. We'll see. In any event, uh, let's see. I've got how many... how much wood have I got? i got enough for a crafting bench. And 25 should be enough for the rest of it, so let's go ahead and head back in. I think. Oh! Don't want to forget the turtle. Um, for those of you who don't know what a turtle is, it is this block-looking thing over here. It is actually a mining device. You can issue commands to it. Here, I was typing E. Um, there are only two commands that it has by default. One is excavate, and one is tunnel. Excavate tells it to dig in a square. If you say excavate five, it'll go five forward and it'll go five to the right, and it'll excavate that entire area from the level that it is placed going down until it hits something it can't dig through, which is usually bedrock. The other one is tunnel, where it digs a two-tall, three-wide, centered-on-itself tunnel that 
is as long as whatever number you type in. So tunnel four, it'll blo it'll go four blocks forward. Let's see, I don't really need a furnace in the twilight forest, so I'll put that there. What do I really not need? Hmm. Wait, this map is for this world. How much is? Oh, well, you know, that's that's it's daytime. It has some room. Let's see how. Let's let's put some more stuff on this map here. There we go. Let's see what we can put on the map. How far do we get before the map actually starts to increase? Let's go. Hello, sheep. Pleasant to see you today. Your wool is looking especially luscious. Um, nope, nothing fell in there. Yeah, I gotta pick up all the stuff that drops just because I dislike waste with a passion that may be unhealthy. Maybe. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Pass by another hive I cannot collect. Can you tell I'm a little irritated about that? I know cows, really. Let's see. Those trees, by the way, are... Um, shoot, what are they called? I forgot. Um, but those trees generate uh, magical nodes from Thaumcraft, which um, will spawn a wisp. Now, normally, as apparently now they've changed. It used to be that wisps were always aggressive and would shoot at you. But apparently now that they've been done where they're not always aggressive, although I have a feeling that if I find a barrow, whatever kind of wisp is generated in a barrow would probably be aggressive, since they're just, you know, mean places. But those trees are always sources of nodes, and if you break the tree and move it somewhere else, it will generate a new node. And nodes are where wisps will spawn. So be careful about planting and replanting those mm. trees. It isn't like it was in Thaumcraft 2 where they clean up the local aura. In mm. this case, they kind of... They are a focus for the local magic. <coughs> I know. Let's see. Let's go this way, pick that up. Let's go this way, pick that up. Um, I want to just... Oh, wait. I have sword these. And I dropped one, didn't I? Let's see, do I have a shovel? Okay, there's my shovel. And... Bloop. Let's get out of here. And let's hope there's nothing between me and the ladder. I don't have food to heal. Uh, nope, there's a skeleton. Shoot! Well, there's no way around it. I'm going to fight him. Yep, missed. There we go. Ha! I win, you lose. While I'm here, since there seems to be nothing else around, I'll go ahead and break these down. Uh, one dropped in here, didn't it? Yep, there it is. There we go. Yeah. Now, because I put those half slabs there, I don't have to worry about stuff falling into the water there. Uh, let's see, got that, got that. There's one over here. Yeah, okay, there's plenty. Now let's get up and out of here. I kind of like the new ladder sounds. I really do. See, it's all lit up, so we're good there. The edges are kind of worrisome, but only one thing can spawn there. Okay, um, I don't really need the map, I don't think. But, but first, let me go ahead and make a couple of... Yeah, make a couple pickaxes. Which I don't have room for. Um, okay. Let's put that one there, put that there, put the sticks there. I need to put some stuff in here. That will go in there. Put that over there. Okay, that's all the stuff I dropped. <laughs> what else? Make another chest. This chest is going to be so that's the stuff that uh, I want to take to Twilight Forest. Let's see, you don't really need the map. Let's see, grab that, that. Mm, I'll leave that so I can don't have to worry about going out and getting more. Poof. Here's the stuff that's going to Twilight Forest. Do, 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 do. Just so I don't have to take it back down. I don't really need that. Let's see, need that, need that. 
don't really need the axe since I'm not going to encounter much wood underground. I don't count the, uh, yeah, that's enough for more. Come on, here we go. Alright, I am now ready to mine. Let's see. Alright, let's go down. Whee! Yeah, let's go the fast way. Watch this. Um, there's some lava. I'm going to need that obsidian in a bit. Um, probably use a turtle to grab it. I'll use the tunnel so it'll dig in a straight line. Ow. Oh, darn it, I forgot to grab food. I always do that. I'm not going to go back for it. Let's go this way. We will mine until we find the diamonds I require. Well, diamond. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Doesn't matter what perils we encounter. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go through that. Do, 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 do. Drop a torch. For those unfamiliar, I mean very unfamiliar, in the game of Minecraft, if you put a torch down, it prevents mobs from spawning. Because mobs will. Ah, oh, darn it, I'm already down there. I guess I should dig a little higher. Maybe. We'll go this way first. And. Ooh, yay! Enchanting table! Ooh, more! Let's see. Ooh! That's enough for a pick! One, two, three, four! Ha 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 ha! That's my impression of the count. Here we go. So we have enough for two diamond swords or one diamond pick. And I think. Arr, under the circumstances, a diamond pick will be a little bit better. Because if I can get if I can get lucky and get a fortune, what the hell was that? If I can get a fortune enchantment, then I can get multiple drops from a single ore, and that would be awesome. Definitely help with the resource problem I'm having. And by resource problem, I mean I don't have all the resources I want. All right, so let's go ahead. I have what I need. Let's see what I can grab from this chest. Oh, right, that's right. I need, let's see, I probably don't need those diamonds. But I do need to go back down and collect that obsidian. So, um, do I have, yeah. Just in case something goes wrong, I want to sleep in the bed. There we go. Let's go the fast way down. Whee! Yeah, I bet you guys have forgotten that ladders were there, didn't you? Ha <laughs> ha. I bet you thought I was going to die. You probably even rooted for me to die. Er, jerks. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, you're an angry zombie. Yeah, oh, that was just nasty. Where did he come from? Hmm. Wasn't very tough. I guess he must have fallen. No lava. So, turtle. I need to go... Let's see. One. Let's put this in here. One, two, three. All right, and it counts the one it's on. So if I say excavate three, and no, it's tunnel three, it should tunnel. See, it goes up. It goes one, two. It's on the second spot now. Three. And as you can see, the uh, turtle is indestructible. It is not harmed by the lava at all. Although if I break it without, you know, the lava around, it will, you know, dissolve. The lava will eat it. So there we go. We've got everything we need for the enchanting table now. Since I have books in the other world from killing all those evil magic books. Life is good. I can now grab everything from that chest and go back to the Twilight Forest. Although I guess I should really get myself back on that day-night cycle, huh? Since the episodes have been all sorts of... Ah, uh, okay, I hear a spider. Hello? Oh, hello! Spiders are a lot easier to kill if, you do, if you're not... If you're actually high, uh, lower than they are. Because they can't really jump effectively then. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I need to get the episodes back to the uh, two-day cycle I was on. Uh, let me free up some inventory space here. What have I got? Oh, well, I need to eat. 
So let's see, put that in there. Go ahead and eat these zombie flesh. Mmm, cannibalism. Although I guess technically I don't, you know, it's, it's not considered cannibalism since they're not really Steve's. I mean, Steve's don't just spawn out of the ground. Although I guess we don't really know how Steve's spawn. Let's see, at this point I'm left, sh um, I'm click shifting or shift clicking so that I can, you know, grab stuff and put stack it as much as I can. So I can carry as much as possible. Oh, look, it's a lighted path. I can use that lighted path to figure out if it's day or night, since it should be getting close to daytime. So when I can no longer see this path, it will be daytime and I will call it a night. And it looks like it's coming up soon. Yeah, so you can see the path is sort of fading. Yeah, it's almost invisible now, which means it's almost dawn. So let me get... I still vaguely see it. I'll get to a clearing over here and then I'll say goodnight. And voila! Good night, everyone. I hope you have a pleasant evening. Imagine the squirrels and sheep in your dreams. <laughs>